demolition is now complete on one of the two remaining structures from the former radioisotope development lab at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. As the next phase of cleanup on the Oak Ridge Reservation ramps up, DOE's Oak Ridge Office of Environmental Management and contractor UCOR are working to complete cleanup of this Manhattan Project era facility. This project is eliminating contaminated structures that are on DOE's list of high-risk facilities and clearing space for future research missions. Here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, it's the largest uh, office of science laboratory in DOE. And it's been critically important because of the history since the 40s uh, for us to work in partnership with the Office of Environmental Management. The important work that's going on in the background is culminating into changes in our central campus, the oldest part of the laboratory. The integration, the cooperation uh, will benefit not only EM being able to get their mission done, but also the future use of the laboratory. Known as hot cells, the structures were heavily shielded concrete rooms that provided researchers protection from highly radioactive material during the years the building was operational. The facility originally contained six hot cells where isotopes from ORNL's graphite reactor and other reactors were processed for shipment. The outer structure and four of the six hot cells were demolished in prior years by Oak Ridge's EM program. UCOR crews completed several tasks preparing the final structures for demolition. The six-story fabric membrane structure was installed to protect neighboring facilities during the demolition efforts of the West Cell Bank and future deactivation and demolition of the East Cell Bank, which still stands. The fabric membrane structure is installed on 92 16,000-pound foundation blocks and has 20 steel trusses uh, installed supporting the membrane. Our engineering team had to develop uh, and design a intermodal rail system to make use of some of the vertical space within the area. Uh, it was an innovative, effective way for us to have our demolition equipment mobilized and remove debris from the area. Deactivation and demolition of the final remaining hot cell will be completed next year. That's a big step for us in our D&D program. We finished up ETGP. Uh, didn't miss a beat, uh, jumping over to Y-12 within a couple months, but started the demo at Biology Complex, and now we're over here at ORNL starting our first demolition over here as well. So big step forward for the program. Certainly appreciate all the help that we've gotten from the ORNL side office, our science partners, and appreciate all the help out of labor and certainly the support from the appropriators to make all this happen.